Ahoy hoy everyone, it's Craig here at a somewhat relatively slow Disney's Hollywood Studios from the way it looks and I'm meeting Erica today for a quick service dining review but I don't know where we're going so let's go find her and see what we're having to eat. Before we do that I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content, you want to support us, book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Now, let's not waste any time. Let's go find out what's for lunch. It looks a little congested further down by Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, but all the way down here at the entrance of the park, it's actually pretty calm. Very nice. Erica sent me her location, and that means I'm heading down Sunset Boulevard, and that means we only have a couple options for where we are eating. I wonder what she's choosing. Erica sent me a photo indicating that she was somewhere looking at the Phantasmic sign and also Beauty and the Beast by this flower bed over here. And I think that means, oh, we found her. Hi. Hey, How Erica. are you doing? I mean, I'm doing good. How are you? Good, I'm hungry. Awesome. Where are we eating today? We're going to eat at what is this called? Fairfax Fair. Ooh. And here they have waffle bowls. Okay, they're super fun. Some of them have noodles. Some of them have buffalo chicken and mashed potatoes. And some of them have uh, just like a Korean themed one. I don't know. They all seem so good. And they smell delicious from here. Can't go wrong with a waffle bowl. I, I mean, wrong. I love waffles. I love bowls. Same. I love chicken. And waffles. <laughs> and waffles. I love it all. There's no better combination than a chicken and waffle. Okay. Let's, so let's go. Let's do it. Uh, glorious Fairfax Fair. I don't even remember the last time I've had anything from here. Uh, the menu is all the way up by the windows. It looks really tiny, so I can't read it from back here. I mean, we know the waffle bowls. So maybe I'll explain the menu a little bit more once we're seated down with our food. I ordered the plant-based soba noodle salad bowl with chicken, mm. it's plant-based chicken, and it is $13.99, and it has chilled soba noodles, um, edamame, did I say that right for the first edamame. time in my life? Yeah, yeah edamame, wow. Um, red cabbage, red peppers, shredded carrots, celery, and green onions tossed in a yaki soba sauce and served in a waffle bowl. And I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've had it before, but let's see if it's still good, because it's been a while, all right? Yeah. And now, there's also one without the fake chicken, right? Yes, which that is $12.99 if you get it without the chicken. Um, my hack is to get it with the chicken because you'll actually be full after eating this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without the chicken, it's not as filling. Whoa. That's a lot of noodles. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> I yeah, don't, don't want to make um, a mess. They're not breaking apart at all. No, you really got you really got to twirl them up. There you go. Oh, I mean. There you go. I will say, the noodles today are not the texture that I love them to be, but the flavors are all there. I do need to get into the chicken, but I always base it off of the noodles. Sometimes the noodles, they didn't get the love they deserve, and today is one of those days. But the waffle. It has like a sweeter flavor profile, so it kind of helps out everything in the end. Um, but I want to give more thoughts when I finish the entire thing. Is that all right with you? That is all right. Uh, what's the deal with the sauce situation on there? Because you have like soy sauce all over your plate, but then the noodles look very dry. That That is what's happening. But because I feel like the sauce only enhances the flavor. Okay. It doesn't really uh, make anything moist. Um, by any means, uh, but the noodles I really do think they're just a little too dry today and the sauce is not making it Any less dry, so that's my only like little concern right now. Okay. I'll let you ponder it a little bit more Yeah, and I'm gonna dig into mine. All right This was a very tough choice for me because the first thing that my eye grabbed was the buffalo chicken bowl uh, but right now, spicy stuff in me just like, I, I don't know, I always feel gross after it, so I avoided that. Uh, then there's the barbecued beef brisket bowl, and that also sounded appealing. However, 
I don't know. I feel like that's also going to be like a setup to fail for me because I'm going to complain about the brisket. Don't want to do that. So I went with the Korean barbecued pork belly bowl for $14.79. It's braised pork belly tossed in Korean barbecue sauce topped with a Korean salad, green onion served on mashed potatoes in a waffle bowl. The mashed potatoes itself seems like a bizarre choice, but I don't know. Maybe it'll all work together in a way. I just don't like... You know, when I'm thinking of Korean food, I don't necessarily think of mashed potatoes right away, but I'm gonna start with just a little bit of the mashed potatoes and that Korean barbecue sauce. Oh, that's good. It's like a soy barbecue sauce and it actually pairs very well with the mashed potatoes. And when they say, uh, you know, pork belly, they are not lying about the amount of pork belly on here. I'm counting four big, chunks of pork belly and it looks tender looks like it's gonna melt here goes nothing i haven't had it with the waffle yet so i'll report on that in a couple bites from now probably i'm freaking shocked by this about how good it is i know these bowls have been around for a while and like it just we never made it over here but this is so good uh, the pork belly literally did melt in my mouth. It had a little resistance, but I mean, this is a quick service restaurant and this is better pork belly than I've had in some of the uh, more fancy restaurants around Walt Disney World. Again, that soy Korean barbecue sauce just is hitting the spot with the pork belly. You know, it's like salty plus extra salty. The mashed potatoes are just actually really the right the right ingredient for this bowl. And then if you're worried like, oh, it just feels like it's all gonna be kind of mushy, that entire like little salad that's placed on top with the green onions and the slaw, it's adding a crunch. So then you have that texture difference. And I'm sure if you got the waffle involved, then you'd have even more texture difference. Plus add a little sweet to balance out the salty. This thing is a freaking culinary journey. Would you say mouth. you're surprised? I am I mean, here's the thing. I feel like, I wanna say I'm surprised like, I'm surprised because I'm shocked how much I enjoy it. I expected to like it. I wasn't expecting to love it. And I do love this. Oh, I love this yeah. for you. This is this is a good one. I wish we would have brought Tupperware. Then I probably would have got the beef brisket too. But you know what? Next There's time. always another day. There's only one way uh, to eat this waffle bowl at the end. You just got to grab it. And you, as everything is on it. And then you just got to bite right into it. See, I would do that with mine, but the mashed potatoes have made it so soggy that it would all just flop over. So I'm gonna save you on that. But we are getting dangerously close to being finished. So we'll fill you in in just a couple seconds. Erica, you didn't finish your noodles. You're not getting a sticker for the Clean Plate Club. Well, I'm sorry, but I loved my food. All right, what can I say? I left like, what, two noodles on the plate? Would it make you feel better if I finish all the noodles? No, <laughs> okay. I'll be okay. You'll be fine? Yeah. Well, I loved my meal, and I definitely think it's worth that $13.99. Everything about it is amazing. The waffle, I am such a sucker for like a sweet and savory type of dish. So just having that sweet waffle with the noodles and the sauce, everything, ev all the flavors really complement each other in this one. And the noodles did get better the, the like further you got into the dish. So I feel like the noodles on top just weren't it today. But as you get further into the dish, they did get better. And I just love it so much. I really enjoy this. And I am one to like steer clear of eating at Hollywood Studios. It is not the place I like to eat. Because um, there's nothing really that just screams I'm great at me here at Hollywood Studios. But I do love this place and I would come to Hollywood Studios just to get a waffle bowl and then leave because that's how much I love it. So I highly suggest coming to get one of the bowls, any of the bowls, honestly. But I love this one, the noodle bowl. It's hands down my favorite, but any of these, you'll be good. So I feel like this is a lot harder to do a rating scale since it's quick service. I mean, yeah. it, Ambiance at quick service is never going to be like over the top no. and plating and presentation. I mean, well, I, this one though. I will give the presentation here for like a quick service in theme park dining experience. I mean, it's the nicest quick service presentation you're going to get. So I would give it like a nine or a 10. I'm going to give it a 10 right now because I'm feeling good. Um, 
and the quality of the food and the taste of the food, I'm going to give that a 10 also because it's wow, not bad quality. Score. Yeah, it's not bad quality food. Okay. In my opinion, it's the best quality food you're going to get park side because obviously you have planet side and galaxy's edge and their quick service is also really good but on this side of the park i mean to me this is perfection there's wow. no going wrong if there was air conditioning above me even better there you go five even out better. of five gold yeah. stars all around yes uh, yes ten yippee. tens across the board yeah. <laughs> i love it Erica, that was a super high score you gave it. I'm not saying you're wrong. Uh, mine is near perfection on it. So first off, when the bulls got to the table, I was kind of worried about portion size, specifically with yours. You had like no chicken at all in yours. And the noodles just looked like there was so much air in them. I'm like, how does this fill you up? And then I remembered you're normal. So uh, you don't need to eat like I do in order to get full but for me I'm like oh pork belly looks big but you know it's still even with mashed potatoes all under there it doesn't look like it's gonna be heavy and my gosh I am stuffed like there was a lot of mashed potatoes but the pork belly was just it, it was just overflowing with pork belly it, it four pieces shouldn't have been that much but man it they were thick and the other thing I'll say about it too uh, where I would knock this the the presentation of this is a 10. Uh, you're absolutely right. Thank uh, you. For the cost, considering how full I am, and then the quality of the ingredients and all that, definitely a 10 on that too. For mine though, I'm like just at like a nine for the taste because while I love the flavor throughout and I felt like it was different enough, uh, I had one piece of pork belly out of the four that was like chewing on a rubber tire. I, I pushed through it, but I mean, I just was, I tested my jaw strength to its maximum ability, and I made it through. But yeah, that was that was disappointing. Like it had to be the last one. At I mean, least at the same it was time, only one, and it, not all of them. Exactly. If if it would have been half of them, it could have been it could have been bad. If it was three out of the four, it would have been terrible. If it was all of them, obviously that would have been. I would be ripping this place apart right now. But the fact that it was one, you know, that's it, it's not the worst. Uh, it just, it had to be the wrong one. If it would have been the first one, I would have been scared and then pleasantly surprised. Being the last one, I was like, oh man, I ended on the low point. Uh, I will say my waffle experience, I don't think it was as sweet as Erica described it to be, just with with how I taste things. Uh, it, it was it had a tiny, tiny hint of it, but if you're afraid of like, you know, if you're afraid of it being like overly sweet, like the sweetest waffle cone you've ever had at an ice cream place, uh, don't don't be concerned about that. It wasn't it wasn't that sweet, but yeah, it does does try to get the the sweet and salty thing going. But I mean, mine mine was just super soggy from the mashed potatoes. So uh, a good vessel on the top, and I guess it held everything in the entire meal. So fine on the bottom too. Man, I'm really spending too much time thinking about this stuff. I loved it. I know I will be back here again to get this. You know, it just makes my life choices in this park even harder because now I love, for quick service, I love this. I love, I, you know, I like ABC commentary a lot. I love Ronto wraps. I love Docking Bay 7. I like, I like the sandwiches in Toy Story Land. Like, does this park have the best quick service food? No. I, they, what? No. no. What does? I would say Animal Kingdom. You're wrong, but... You might be right. And we'll continue our Epcot. small kiosks. Yeah. But and the street tacos yeah. are good. The mac and cheese with the pulled pork is good. You know what? Since really canteen, huh. come on. We're going to have to have a throw down on that. Because I think there really is an argument for either this park or Animal Kingdom. You make very good points, Erica. But that'll be for another time. Now I think we're going to walk this off because, yeah, it was filling. So thank you so much for taking the time to enjoy this review with us. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, video suggestions in the comments. If you are listening to this, subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and leave us positive rating and reviews when possible. And if you want to support us more, book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. That's it for us here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We'll see you again real soon with more Disney dining fun. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay hungry. Yummy, yummy.